We just got word. Andy's been kidnapped in Syria. Susan Sarandon's new film, Viper Club, is being criticized by the mother of a journalist who was slain in Syria. She says her life story was taken without her advanced knowledge, consent, or participation and made into the movie. What are you going to do? That information is classified. In Viper Club, Sarandon's character Helen is a nurse. Her son Andy, played by Julian Morris, is a freelance journalist who is abducted and killed by the Islamic State while reporting in Syria. In real life, Diane Foley's son, James Foley, was a freelance journalist who was abducted while reporting in Syria in 2012 and whose brutal killing by the Islamic State was broadcast around the world in August 2014. Foley is also a nurse. And just as Foley did after her son's abduction, the character Helen tries in vain to navigate the federal bureaucracy in Washington, D.C. to help secure his release. Helen connects with a secret network of international journalists that exist in real life and was in touch with Foley, though Foley did not tap the network for ransom raising purposes like the character did. I know the government won't help you, but there is someone else. Foley said of Sarandon, she even physically resembles me, she added. What was appalling is that it was my story almost to the tiniest detail, but Foley acknowledges there are some discrepancies and embellishments to her story and some differences between her and Helen. The film's director has expressed her admiration and support for Foley. However, she says that Foley's son's story was among the inspirations for the film, but not the only one. The director also says that Sarandon's character is completely fictional. But Foley is still upset that she wasn't given advance knowledge of the film and was not asked for her insight on Sarandon's character. For much more on this story, head to th.com. Until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.